So we'll cover about how to inspect if the website has an RSS feed, and if it doesn't, how you can generate an RSS feed for that website. Um, I'm going to also cover how you can create an embed version to your RSS feed so you can share it in any platform as long as it supports an HTML block. So this website is um, powered by WordPress and most of the WordPress um, website really has a default RSS feed but you can rarely encounter that. So back to the topic, in order to um, check if the site has an RSS feed, you can just inspect the elements and then click the Control F or Command F for the mock and, just, and then just type in RSS feed. So if you notice in here, there are two RSS feed that is created. One is for the comment section and one is just for the default, like the, for the blog one so i'm going to copy that version and you will normally see an xml version of the rss feed now if you want that to be um to be in um like live format or if your website doesn't have an rss feed you can always use this website that is powered by google it's called vidburner.google.com so you need to just go in in here and then um i already created an account by the way that's why you are seeing this headers in here but basically you just need to sign up an account using your gmail and you can after that you can see this um portion in here now i have one two three four five six i have six rss feed that i submitted using on in this feed burner and then if you are new to this um feed burner thing you can't see this part so if you want to submit an rss feed i already submitted mine in here so let's just use a different rss feed maybe this like my friend's rss feed you can just put it in here then if she is a podcaster you can check it because the feed burner has a podcast features as well so yeah um for now i'll just keep that and check and click the next option okay under the next option um it says here that this website has already an RSS feed. So you need to choose which type of RSS feed you want to have a live format. Would you like to be the comment feed or comment RSS feed or the like the default RSS feed? So I'm going to choose that and click next. Okay. And then you need to like title. What's your um, title of your RSS feed? Um, you can do that something like that. And then here, I probably just want it to be just small cops and then hit next. So the other sections here, so it it, it like already done with the um, creating an RSS feed. And this is how the RS, RSS feeds looks like. So it pull all of the posts that this website um, created. And if you want to uh, what do you call that if you want this to um, modified you can jump into the next section and then click the next so on the next section you have this option skill called analyze analyze like you can basically see the stats how many viewers are um, how many viewers and then for the optimized section these are like the like the other things that you can add on into your um, RSS feed or RSS um, page. So let's say I want to add like, I want to convert the, the format, uh, maybe the title description. How about the summary one? So let's say as well, you want to convert And then if you want to have an embed version of your RSS, this live feed, so you can um, paste, I mean, pull this data into the other um, platform as long as it supports HTML, you can jump into the part called 
feed flare, not feed flare, but it should be on the um, publicize option and go into the bo the bus boost area. So the bus boost area, it will generate like how many numbers items to be displayed into your RSS feed. You can put a title or uncheck the title. You can also um, adjust the excerpt of your RSS feed and the format. And then like if you want to show the media and link it to the feed or link it to the post. OK, and then once you activate that, it will generate a script that you can embed to your HTML code. If you're using a blogger, then you can just hit choose this blogger thing in here and click um, go to. Um, I believe you need to log in. If you, I mean, you need to have a blogger account on this one if you want to use this widget. And then the other thing as well, under the socialize section, you have like an option as well in here um, to, oh, it's depreciated. So I don't want, I don't recommend that part. But in here, maybe on the um, feed count, I don't think that's needed. That is super old school. <laughs> People are using that before, but we're, uh, it's ready depreciated. Yeah, if you can activate this part as well, if we activate that, um, you can have this thing where they can just subscribe to your, um, to your, to your, like it's similar with a forms that they can just subscribe so they can receive a notification every time you have a new blogs because your new blogs and posts will be um, also connected to your RSS feed. So yeah, that's how it works, guys. Um, I'm going to create another tutorial specifically for MailChimp, like um, integrating this RSS feed to the MailChimp. If you have any, and if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask. Learn World is always my recommendation to my clients every time they want to create an online course. You can use the link below to get a 30 days free trial and see if Learn World is fit for you. I also have tutorials about Learn World, so check out my description or I'm gonna put it in here to see some of my tutorials in Learn Worlds. I tell you, there's a lot of features in Learn Worlds that could be really helpful for your marketing strategy. Let's get back to the tutorial.